What can we expect from this new supermoon in Aquarius? It happens on the 9th of February 2024. It falls in 20 degrees of Aquarius. Um, it happens on, at 11 p.m. UK time, but it's not specifically the moment of uh, the new moon, but it's the build up to it. So the few days before, I'll say 7th, 8th and 9th of February, um, all that I'm going to discuss is going to be very relevant, okay? So new moon um, is all about meeting of the luminaries in the same degree of the same sign, which is sun and moon. Um, and from the astrological point of view, symbolically, um, it actually gives us time for planting new seeds, uh, starting new uh, projects, uh, forming new ideas. It's about setting new intentions, okay? So we have two levels of this interpretation. First one is that it very much depends where 20 degrees of Aquarius fall in falls in your chart because this is where you know you will have this greatest opportunity to plant these new seeds and start new projects okay setting new intentions if 20 degrees of Aquarius for example lands where your natal moon is moon symbolizing family roots properties home life family life and um, this would symbolize new beginnings in that area but if for example if it falls in your 10th house this would be all about setting these new ideas, new intentions in the area of social standing, status, career, new job, etc. Okay, so this is very individual where this new moon falls. But on a more general level, we could actually say that, you know, how it's going to color the experience. It is going to color the experience for you with the Aquarian energy. We have four planets in Aquarius at the time of the new moon, uh, Sun and Moon obviously, also Pluto for the next 20 years and also Mercury. So such a gathering of planets in the Aquarius energy uh, brings strong focus on anything to do with innovative, progressive approach. It brings a great deal of intellectual determination. It's a fixed sign. So stubbornness, determination, and um, not stepping off the beaten track in terms of you know ideas, even though they may be very progressive, but it does bring a great deal of determination. Um, the focus is on truth, freedom, open-mindedness, tolerance, anything to do with um, accepting the other, accepting different different ideas. Okay, there are no. Um, there are no traditional set ways of doing things, but there's a great deal of open-mindedness um, around the Aquarius energy. Great also emphasis on progressive thinking, progressive ideas and innovation. Um, AI is very much Aquarian. Um, what we've got um, surrounding this new moon, um, the luminaries are being squared by Uranus. Uranus is actually a planet of Aquarius, so it actually, you know, boosts and um, I would say enlarges the, the symbolism of Aquarius, but in the most quirky revolutionary way, because Uranus in itself is a planet of revolution, chaos, progression, innovation. Uh, it brings a lot of disruption, but also um, light bulb moments, you know, like great sudden ideas, doing things differently. It's a planet of revolution and rebellion. Um, and also the, uh, the combination of square actually is a challenging one. It puts everything upside down so that we can look at things from a different perspective. So these two luminaries, sun and moon squared by Uranus, are going to bring on a global level more emphasized energy of chaos, revolution, rebellion, um, open-mindedness, but it is to do with cyber attacks as well because Uranus is very much Aquarius and Uranus are very much about um, you know, internet technology. So we may witness some cyber attacks, but also maybe potentially, unfortunately, earthquakes and quite enhanced geomagnetics, okay? And on a more um, down-to-earth level in our everyday lives, we will notice much bigger deal of rebellion, revolution, um, chaos, shocks, disruptions, um, open-mindedness, progressive approach, uh, innovation, what I've mentioned already. Um, but this is not a time to follow laid down rules. This is not time to be super traditional and do things in the old ways. It is time to uh, like truly open our mind, try uh, something new, um, some fresh energy, allow fresh energy into your life and literally expect the unexpected. It's time to try to put um, everything on its head and try doing things differently in your life. And you may get actually much better results as opposed to following traditional lines of behavior, okay? Um, so that's um, 
a really interesting, I would say, very revolutionary, disruptive on the one hand, but if you you will only feel the disruptive influences if you really hold on to the beaten track, if you open your mind and allow the revolution and experimenting and innovation and progressive approach, you will really have a great ride, okay? In the background, we also have um, Jupiter squaring um, Mercury. This is very much about um, enhanced progressive kind of future thinking it's about expansion jupiter is about expansion it's expansive thinking about the future especially around the area of agriculture farming um, money economy anything to do with taurus because um, jupiter is in taurus okay so it's time to have these big expansive ideas and setting these new intentions regarding these areas of of our life as well um, last little thing um Last but not the least, we have Chiron conjuncting um, North Node. North Node symbolizes future collective destiny. Chiron is a wounded healer, right? So Chiron is all about, um, especially when conjuncting the symbolism of uh, human collective destiny, we have a great time to actually be able to see how humanity has been wounded, where our inner wound wounds are lying, and also how to bring healing to these wounds. Um, very interesting new moon, very progressive, crazy, rebellious, um, disruptive in a, in a sense, but let's remember that we shouldn't hold on to the beaten track, allow yourself to do things in a very different way, and you will see great results. Good luck.